Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome to the Cusp of Interest. All right, so 2019. This has been an incredible year for me. I just want to thank all of you guys so much for watching my videos and sticking along with me, being on this journey with me through YouTube, and yeah, I was watching some of my videos from like 2018, and holy moly, I have come a long way. But I just want to read off some of the statistics that we did this year. Six and a half million total views in 2019. <sighs> Mind blown. That is incredible. That is like 10 times better than last year. Watch minutes. We had 16 million watch minutes this year. Holy crap. 24,000 subscribers. That's insane. And I hit my goal of 25,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And thank you guys so much for subscribing. And 2020... Here we go. Last year, I really, I just barely hit a thousand subscribers. I didn't know where this was going to go. And I really didn't even know how to use, do YouTube. But now I've actually learned and I'm doing my best to make the best quality I have. I got a new camera, new laptop, and I'm just trying to make the best quality for you guys. So in my, in my reviews, I use the CA scoring method, correct? I still haven't even made the video on the CA scoring method 2.0, which I'll make next decade or 2020. And it's, uh, I'll explain the whole thing, and I'll also have the explanation on my new website, and then I'll have all the scores for every device reviewed on the, um, with the CA scoring method 2.0 on the website, so you guys can compare between all these devices, and yeah, I'll, be, that will all be coming in 2020, I'll, I'll continue to review those, I'll also be more branching out more to other types of earbuds, not just clones, and I'll be, just be doing both, and 2020 is going to be a big year for me. So be sure to subscribe. My goal this year, so I'm going to have two goals, all right? My low goal is to make it to 50,000 subscribers before next year. And my big goal is 100,000 subscribers before next year. I don't know. I think we can do it. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoy this montage I just created about this year. Enjoy. It does have little LEDs. Okay, so these things are called the i11 TWS. And handling the case for the first time, I noticed that it has a very different shape. Case. I mean, well, I can't really see. It says dot 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 dot. Got the clone version of it. i12 and the TWS. Uh, maybe a different color. But the i12 TWS box is the closest to the air. So then I started to research more of how you could customize your iPhone. All right, checking out the box for the first time. In the back, I can see that these come in multiple colors. I hope I get a cool color. These headphones in these specific areas. Packaging, design, connectivity. I tilted the camera up. So you can't see that I didn't make my bed. Uh huh. I'm really cost of interest. All right, so this is my 100th video that I've you made, my and um, I thought I might just do something different. So got a Thor's hammer. To the worst, we'll get a one. So there will be no repeating videos. And yeah, let's get right to it. All right, so this is my bedroom door right here. Welcome to the custom office. All right, so I picked up the iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is the first phone. Pretty much the first phone I've ever bought myself that is brand new. Welcome to the cusp of interest. All right, so I got the iPhone 11 Pro Max right here in midnight green. And I have this company called Pitaka. Welcome to the Custom Ventures. So today I'll be comparing the AirPods Pro to the Galaxy. 